Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Heart to Heart with Hads. Today is Saturday when I'm recording this, and I just got home from Vegas, and I'm packing my bags, which I'm basically just taking everything that I didn't wear from Vegas and leaving it in my bag, but I'm packing my bags because I'm headed to Florida for the next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll be back Friday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. For the next six days, basically. Technically, four full days to travelish days. Tomorrow, we're leaving at 5.15 our flight leaves. And I need to go to bed because it's, like, almost 8 o'clock now. Um, and we're going to have to get to the airport at, like, 4, 4.30. Something like that. Um, so, yeah. Very, uh, very fun things in the future. Very fun time. I just want to talk about Vegas. Vegas is so crazy to me. Like, I don't understand how Vegas is real because it's in this desert and it's just one big city, I feel like. And then it's like desert surrounding and it's nothing else. It feels like I'm in a simulation. When I was there, I was like, this is not real. Nothing about this is real. Anyways, we had such a fun time, so I just want to do a little bit of recap, but I also want to make this episode about traveling, um, kind of just like traveling while still being fit and healthy, um, and just kind of how my mindset has shifted over the past couple of years on just my viewpoint around traveling with trying to stay healthy, um, and it's kind of just like, it's a, it's a hairy topic, but not really. Um, but I just kind of want to share my experiences from the past and then from this past week in Vegas and just how much I've evolved, I feel like, as a person, um, and as a bodybuilder, I guess you could say too, and just a coach and someone who is a big advocate for health in itself. But let's get into the Vegas recap first. So this episode is going to be kind of short because like I said, it's very, um, getting late tonight as I need to go to bed and get ready for waking up early enough tomorrow so as far as the Vegas trip goes so we got there we left Monday and we got there I think it was around 12 or 1 or something um and then we went and ate right when we got there and where did we eat I can't remember I'm so bad with memory well we actually drove around for a really long while we ended up not even eating I don't think until dinner yeah we just were just really starving anyways. Um, I think or we left, I probably left at like 12 when we got there at 12 because the time went back. So yeah, we had breakfast at home um, and then we didn't, we got nachos and when we got there and it was like a like gourmet nacho place. So we got surf and turf nachos, which was like shrimp and steak nachos and it was so good. And I just want to say before I kind of go into, like, the food stuff, I have been on, like, a health kind of, like, gut health journey. Um, And so I was kind of really nervous about going and just feeling like absolute dog crap with my stomach when I was there. But huge wins for me. I was good. I felt really good. And my stomach did not have any excessive bloating after the foods that I ate. Um, So I'm really proud of myself there. And I think it just helped me just be very low stress and really be present and not worry what the F I was going to eat and if it was healthy or unhealthy. That really helped me so, 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 so much. So if you're someone that struggles with that, hope this gives you some good insight. Anyways, back to the recap. We got some nachos. We went down to the, not the strip area, but like Fremont Street and just like people watch and it was so freaking funny to me just crazy like there is people that go there from all over and it's not just the U.S. like everyone across the world and I don't know why people eat that place up so much I didn't realize how crazy it was going to be there like you would think you were at a freaking like all-inclusive resort or like I cannot even explain it but it's just something like I would be fine not going back there for another I don't even know how many years because it's just 
crazy. Don't get me wrong, we had a fun time. Um, and then what do we do? That next day, that next morning, we drove like an hour and 10 minutes to this golf course. So beautiful out in the middle of the desert. It was so nice, so hot. It got up to 115 there, I think was the highest it got. Um, so we were there for, uh, we left our resort, whatever, at like 6. And we got there, 7.30, excuse me, was the tea time or there till about noon we drove back we got some barbecue from the that pawn shop that's famous for that one show I don't know if it's pawn stars or whatever but it's like we actually went into the pawn store and then we ate at the gro- not the grocery the barbecue spot across the street which was okay and I tried to like keep that small because I know we were going to eat dinner that night um somewhere I don't remember where we ended up eating dinner at. See, my days are getting all confused. I need to pull up my phone because I'm going to go back and look at my picture so that I don't get confused on the days. Uh, Let me see. Yeah, I I get confused on the days, so I'm just going to... Okay. So, yeah, that first day we got... Oh, yeah, we already talked about the first day. The next day. Okay, and then Tuesday, we, <laughs> we like, walked around so much. We went through, like, all the hotels, the casinos, the resorts. And we actually didn't end up eating dinner because we were kind of still full from our, like, mid-afternoon lunch that was at 3 o'clock. And so we went into the Sphere. And then we were at the Sphere. It was 9.45 at night, and we got some chicken strips and sweet potato waffle fries so good honestly one of the like better not better meals but it was a it was a good meal there and we went to the sphere and watched this show it was super fun um and then that next morning we had brunch we went to this place called alexa's and it was really good it got steak and eggs and we shared some of this fruit this fruit tower they brought us that was fun. Then we went and walked around that day too. Lots of walking. Got a blister on my foot from the night before walking in the shoes I was wearing. Still have it. It looks gnarly. Then that night we got dressed up and we had dinner reservations at this place inside the Wynn Hotel that we actually walked by the night before. And we're like, oh my gosh, I want to eat here. But it was too late because we had our sphere um show that night so we kind of were like all right we'll just go tomorrow bougie ass place like we had two nights of dinner in a row that were bougie and then that next day we went to another golf course um at the Wynn hotel and i don't think we yeah brock just ate some food there we got they gave us like complimentary since the green fees were so much oh my god we got free complimentary I guess you could say food like whatever we wanted out there and I kind of wasn't feeling super hungry that morning for probably because we ate dinner kind of late so I just had like a protein shake and um some some fruit and then for lunch since it was complimentary we got like prime rib sandwich and it was so good and then we got back from golfing and we napped for I napped for an hour, Brock napped for like three hours. At this point, we were just like so tired. Um, And then we went to Top of the World, which was like inside the stratosphere. So it was like a rotating um, dinner as you ate it like one way around. It took like an hour and 20 minutes, I think, to go all the way around. It was super cool. Um, Awesome. So we were very high up. But both dinners, those two back-to-back nights were expensive and then I went to bed we got back we watched fireworks from the car on the way back it took us an hour from just to get from one side of the strip to the other because it was so packed the streets were literally just filled but we had so much fun nonetheless just spending time together because we don't live together you know it kind of sucks but that's a little Vegas recap going to Florida this next week um so yeah my I just kind of want to go back to, we got some snacks. We can't, we didn't eat like any of the food that we bought, but we did get snacks and I kind of just let myself eat. It was the first time that I didn't have to have that 
mindset of like, oh my gosh, I need to hit my macros. I need to make sure that each single thing I'm eating has protein in it. And I kind of was just super present. Like we got some snacks and I wasn't super focused on, okay, I really need to make sure that I'm making sure all my food choices are healthy 100%. Um, I mean, I tried. So like for breakfast when we, I would have, so we're not eating out every single meal. I would do like bras and protein powder, would have that and would have like some fruit for some fiber. Um, and then I would also have, we also just got like some more snacky type food. So when we were out of the golf course, we had peanut butter sandwiches with honey, like, and usually I'd be stressed because I'd be like, oh my God, where's the protein? Like, I don't have protein, but then like, it's fine. Like you'll, you will live. And I did live and I'm fine. So I just kind of want to throw that out there. You don't have to be so strict on yourself because let me just tell you, I'm strict on myself throughout the other 50 weeks of the year okay I have not had food that's been like pretty much untracked um obviously I do like a free meal every week but I haven't had untracked meal in a really long while so very big win for me um and a big win for my digestion so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there like one week is not gonna hurt you you may be up a couple pounds when you get up just because yeah you're having more food volume foods that you wouldn't usually eat but it's gonna go back down and the best thing you can do when you get back home from a trip is to just get right back on track. Stop eating however you were before. All you have to do is hop right back on meal plan, right back on the foods you were eating once you left. And I promise you, you're going to feel so good. It'll be okay. You only live once. Um, but as far as my travel trips go, number one, movement. We got so many steps every single day we were there. Get your 10,000 steps. Like It's not hard to do if you're truly on a vacation a lot of times you do have the time and the energy and you probably are moving and exploring a lot so that should be a big pretty big non-negotiable but like I said don't stress it if you don't but that's something you can focus on because it's not only going to help with your digestion but it's going to help with your sleep and just overall feeling better um yeah number two drink water still drink your gallon of water this is going to help your digestion it's going to keep you hydrated if you do have like the element salt sticks I would still keep those on you while traveling too, just because it is kind of draining, you can drain. If you're someone that's a stressor, this is number three. Take some magnesium with you. Um, if you're someone that also struggles with digestion while traveling, which is a huge thing because you're not eating the foods probably that you're normally eating, and you're just out of routine, your sleep schedule's off, all of that, I would have fiber, powdered fiber on hand and just throw that in your bag and have it with you because it definitely does help. You just do one soup of this at night with some water. It's really beneficial for your digestion the next day. I swear by it. Do it. Take your vitamins with you. Still take these with you. Um, I don't think that taking them is going to harm you. It's just going to do you more good. So keep taking those because you want to feel good while you're on vacation too. You don't want to feel icky. Um, your probiotics, your vitamin D, all of that, keep them on hand. Um, and when you do go out to eat, this is a big thing for me. Stop eating whenever you're full. You don't have to finish your plate. I think this is a really big misconception, especially with bodybuilding is you're eating macros, you're following your macros. And it's like, I have to finish my food because, you know, this is what fits into my macros. So that kind of carries over whatever you're not eating on track, on plan. And you think that you do need to eat all of your food and you don't have to do that just stop when you're full and this is something I've really had to work on and it's something I've struggled with and I still continue to struggle with it so I'm it's a continuous work in progress for me but just because you're on vacation you're spending money on food doesn't mean you have to freaking eat everything it's okay to stop and it's okay to slow down and be like okay I'm actually done here also if you hear the dogs barking so sorry we have four dogs at our house right now we have our three dogs and my sister's dog it's it's a madhouse to say the least Okay, back to subject here. Another thing, you don't have to go to the gym every day. And I know towards the end of our trip, my boyfriend was like, oh, I just feel so shitty. Like, And I'm like, but this doesn't happen all the time. We don't get to do this. And usually I'd be the one being like, oh, I'm ready to get back home and da 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 But actually I was like, you know what? I'm very grateful to have this time away. We actually did go to the hotel gym one morning and we just got like a quick little arm pump. But... It was fun and it was good. I liked it. I felt good. 
Um, but yeah, the dogs, oh my gosh, they're going nuts. Um, you don't have to go to the gym. And I am usually someone that's like, oh my gosh, I need to go to the gym. Every single day I'm there, I'm, there, I'm going to lose my progress and everything's going to suck. And I'm just going to be in a worse spot from when I started and I'm going to lose all my muscle. And that's just not true. Like one week or a couple of days not being on plan, not being on your training and nutrition like you will be fine i promise i went to the gym today and i was strong as f this was like so last monday was my last leg training day and i did one today and i was just freaking fine i pr'd on every single lift and it's probably from all that food i was eating honestly just had that extra fuel but also i feel like getting away and going away from home should be something that you look forward to and it shouldn't add additional stress so if you're someone that is traveling, um, if you travel often, I think it's a different scenario. But if you're just traveling through the summer occasionally, like you cannot beat yourself up for not being able to completely hit your food, your training, your steps, your water, like every little thing. You just have to enjoy and be present in the moment. And I think this is something I've had to realize, especially coming from like the bodybuilding standpoint of prep and you're always on your shit and you can't miss a day you can't miss this and you can't miss that and I have that mindset all the freaking time and so getting this time away from that to really just be present in the moment and with my people has really helped me so much and another thing too that you can do just to kind of help you bring gratitude and shed light on that is just do some journaling while you're traveling if you want you don't have to Um, and just really reflect on everything that you've been blessed with because not everyone is even able to go and travel and try new foods and go to new places. And so having that mindset of like, I get to do this and this is super awesome. I should embrace every single moment I get because not many people can do that. And not many people can say they've traveled here and traveled there. And even today I was like, man, am I really able to? And ready to go on another trip after I was just on a trip last week and going you know kind of a little bit crazy with my nutrition not really having anything set am I fine to go do this and I was like dude people would kill to be able to do what I get to do and so I've kind of shifted my mindset from this is two weeks out of my year and This is time that I'll never get back with the people I love. And so truly just have to think about that and let that sit in as you're traveling and doing things with family and friends this summer, especially summer because I feel like that's more of a travel time period, Um, especially for me and my family. I know that's when we usually go and travel. But another thing, too, that you can really prioritize if you do feel like, okay, I really want to, you know, still kind of feel good while I'm here is get an Airbnb or a hotel that has a kitchen. That's what we did. Um, so you can have food and that if you don't want to eat out every meal, you can still have those healthy, readily available snacks and meals for you. That's something that we definitely do too. And it saves you money. Um, and it just helps, you know? So I feel like those are all the tips I have. Biggest takeaway that I can give you is be present and don't stress. Don't sweat the small stuff because it's such a small period of your year, of your life, and you'll never get it back. So really embrace the time that you get with traveling and um, doing things that some people may never get to experience. And I think that's just what I keep going back to. So I have all my bags in here packed. Um, I hope you guys got some good valuable insight from this. Um, And I know it's a short one, but I just wanted to keep it short, simple and sweet as I'm traveling. Um, and hopefully when I get back, the next episodes will be super fun and very, what's the word I'm looking for? Insightful and helpful. Um, so yeah, thank you all for tuning in to this episode. Follow me on the podcast Instagram. I think it's heart.2.heart.pod. Could be wrong. Um, (laughs) But follow me on there and see what I post there. Also, follow me, Health with Hads. If you need coaching, one-on-one coaching, I will push you to be 
a greater human and athlete, but also be that really good support system that you need. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this episode, like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, however it works. I'm not really sure. Um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, all of it. I appreciate y'all for tuning in every week and supporting me. Share with your friends and let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.